Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the webinar on the future of Home Office. My name is Paul Stolvey and I'm an Industry Account Manager at the UK. The purpose of today is to discuss how working from home has and will adapt to the current climate we find ourselves in. But first, let's look at where we were. Home working was very rare and afforded to specific job roles, such as field sales. Home working was perceived as a home working day when you fancy an easy day. We all know it's not true, but nevertheless, we were mocked for it. On the days you came into the office, there were dedicated workspaces set out, but you'd want to hope that no one else was occurring that day too, in the danger that them spaces will be taken up. The setup of the office has changed you know, since the late 90s due to everything becoming ergonomic. Health and safety and the introduction of DSE set out guidance on the minimum standards and requirements for working with display screen equipment, which meant everybody working in the office had their own space with all the health and safety requirements satisfied. This would prevent most from being able to work from home. So where and why are we looking at the changes? With the pandemic, most office staff have been forced to work from home where possible, which at first was a scary and daunting prospect. But as this time went by and people and companies adapted, so the transition became easier and almost normal. So now that we are coming out of those restrictions, our eyes have been opened to new ways of working and seemingly the favoured option is the working from home hybrid. So one of the ways predicted is, is a move from hybrid working, which you all saw as a natural development of the working culture, but the pandemic and restrictions have sped up this transition. So it's a transition that could have taken three to four, maybe five years or longer to, to come into force. It's happened in the last 12 months. And with swathes of companies, including Unilever and PwC, announcing their office workers will never return to their desks five days a week, COVID-19 looks to have instilled the last of the expectations, which when it comes to flexible working conditions, which many workers are in favour of. According to new data, only 12% of employees want to return to the office full time, while 72% prefer hybrid remote model moving forward. So, with as many as a quarter of British businesses planning for permanent home working, even after COVID-19 restrictions ease, many are looking at how to make their homes suit their needs in the long term. So, as you can see from the screen, Following on from some research undertaken, we have discovered that some large companies have already moved or planning to move to home working for major majority of workforces. Has this set a precedent for others to follow, or does it all depend on the nature of the business and the visual location of the commercial offices? I guess time will tell. One factor in making these decisions for these big companies is how much money they can save. Are the overheads too big? Is there money to be saved to be moving? If that is the case, then the home hybrid working will almost be forced onto, onto people because, as you can imagine, moving cities or towns is not really realistic for most people. So that follows on to will the location have an impact? Well, yes, of course it will. High rents and lease costs within the capital, especially within the city and Canary Wharf of London, could result in businesses relocating. Recently, lots of large banks have already decided to move their headquarters to other cities, such as Santander to Milton Keynes and HSBC to Birmingham. Technology has improved the scope for working from home. You don't need to be in office five days a week. It's safe to say that COVID-19 has accelerated the adoption of flexible working. Several lockdowns have forced many companies to work from home, even those that were reluctant to work anywhere but the office. We believe working from home as well as other types of fits for working, such as staggered hours and or working closer to home, will continue to form a part of our working lives in 2021 and beyond. So further research has indicated that four in five people would want to work from home at least once a week, and over half are adopting for at least three days at home. Could this be a result of the past 12 to 14 months? where the convenience of home working has allowed extra personal time for family and out-of-work activities due to no commuting. 
and also could it be a result of people's working practices changing? Can they do the job from home now? Do they need to be in an office? Some jobs will, will need to be that personal touch, but we're seeing a trend change dramatically. After almost a year of working in kitchens, dining rooms, and even the bedroom in some occasions, new research has revealed that 40% of home working Brits are planning to create a dedicated workspace. And the priority of that within the next 12 months. Early indications of most people looking to adopt hybrid working culture means that long term, both commercial office space and domestic spaces need to change. So one in five people, respondents, said they were planning to reconfigure the existing room to be, to create a dedicated home office setup. Well, almost a third of home from work from homers are considering going a step further by doing a building work to create space they need. And that is just the aesthetics and functionality of space in the home. But it's also consideration of DSE. Regulations at home now increasingly forced by companies and yet another dimension to being able to monitor these for home working environments. So with these figures in mind, we see an opportunity for the KBB sector in the home office market as the demand for dedicated space to work effectively grows. And as quoted in a recent survey, there has been a seismic shakeup in what consumers class as the perfect home working environment helping designers gain a clear view of what needs to incorporate into their kitchen schemes. Home workers chose good lighting as a top requirement with 88% rated as their crucial factor. And after lots of video conferencing, technology also ranked as a key consideration. With work from homers choosing charging points for phones, power sockets, and ways of hiding cables and wires, other important factors in the dream home office. So, as the UK lead, UK's leading manufacturer of furniture fittings, we needed to understand the immediate changes in the market to help drive solutions to issues working from home has brought about throughout the pandemic. So, we conducted a survey of 2,000 homeowners back at the end of last year, and what respondents told us about their home setup. So I've mentioned before, just 18% of would-be office workers have a purposely designed study in their home. 32% respondents said they often work from their lounge. With a further 31% regularly working from a dining table and one in 10 using the kitchen worktop. And believe it or not, 22% of people have cut their commute to a bare minimum by choosing to work from their bedrooms. As you can imagine, any of these circumstances is, is not really acceptable if you can be a productive home worker and we need to know how and when we can assist our customers and indeed the end user to adapt. Also from the same survey we, we, we gained what response told us about the biggest issues from working from home. Over half, 55% in fact, of respondents stated their biggest complaint was working in a space to use for other purposes. So just going back to our last slide, we're talking kitchens, we're talking living rooms, we're talking dining rooms. 42% are frustrated. They can't shut away their workspace at the end of the day. So the days where you could check your computer off in the office at 5, 5.30 and head home, no worries. The temptation to carry on working once the dinner's been put away and the kids have been put to bed is too great at home. But if you can knock that away, Hopefully that can negate some temptation. Plus also it's your home at the end of the day. You want to keep it nice and tidy and looking its best. Lack of storage, of course. We're going to have a lot more, lot more paperwork and products and samples at home than we have used to before if we're not traveling to the offices. And all these things are, are going to be stored somewhere. And finally, desk space. Sounds obvious, but not many people do have desk space. Working from laps and even living on the sofa, for instance. So, why did we commission this study? Survey of 2,000 people was commissioned by ourselves 
to give joiners and furniture manufacturers a clear indication of what the perfect home office looks like. We undertook the research and we need to stay in touch to market changes and challenges our customers face as well as staying ahead of the terms of product innovation and development and as a business also adjusting to trends we want and need to continue to evolve and adapt ourselves as workspaces working with our key customers developing new products to meet the needs of the home office. So as you can see on the screen we've listed a few factors of what's important to the home workers. I'm not going to read them all now but I can highlight a few key points there. As you can see at the top good lighting is adapting for dependent conditions with the Hafey's new looks and mesh system we can adapt the lighting from a daytime working environment to an evening mood light using the same lighting through a, a simple app or remote control. Charging points again you're going to have a lot more equipment at home which needs charging so naturally you're going to need more charging points. Also ways to hide cables and wires. It's your home in the day it's not an office situation you don't want wires running around the house or running around the floor especially if you've got young children or animals. So that just indicates a few of the most important home wants would be home workers. So the home office paradox. The question is, can one space really work for all? Well, we at Hayfield believe so. With the range of products in our catalogue and the new concepts already been, always been developed on, such as the pocket, bo pocket door system, traditionally used in kitchens, but now being used to hide away desks. Flaps, fold away flaps, can be used as a simple, effective desk. Electric height adjustable desks, now you could say you could argue that this is more more aimed at the office, the commercial office setting. But why not our home? Some homes will have two, maybe three, maybe four people that are, that are home working, hybrid working. So these desks can be used with, the, with even those in mind. Looks task lighting, as you mentioned before, it's important that lighting is correct, especially with eyesight issues and the stand up screens all day long. So our looks lighting and indeed the Nimbus lighting will be able to adapt to every situation in the, in the home. Charging, as again mentioned, simply adding to the look system to make it nice and easy, we can create USB charging points. solutions. So I just want to touch on a few, touch on a few products that are highlighted on the Discoveries platform, some of which you'll be able to find. New job chief, job teach complete desk system with rise and fall function. So again, as we mentioned before, rise and fall, it could be of interest to some people in the home environment, especially when there's multiple occupancy. Job teach is a complete unit ready for use. The Nimbus Roxanne light so as you can see in the bottom left-hand picture there, is a desk light. It's highly functional and, and it's rechargeable. But we have multiple choices in terms of lighting, not necessarily as well. Top right-hand side, so we mentioned the uh, pivot pocket doors earlier on. This is the Hayfleet rebranded Slido F Park. So as you can see from the image, it's traditionally used in the kitchen situation, but there's nothing stopping you. You still have a, an oven and a fridge there. We can, we can put a, a, a desk behind it. And close it away at the end of the day. And the last image here is a slide out workstation. Not necessarily ideal for all, as not, not everyone's got this sort of space, but it just gives you an indication of where you can find these sort of products and, and, and where you can put them. So more details are available upon request of other products in our range, not necessarily highlighted on the Discoveries website. So if I could just quickly summarise what we've spoken about today and where we're going. What does the future look like for the working office? Who knows? People's tastes will change again, but I think time will tell. And everyone's individual tastes will determine in terms of how people work. House design and build. Could there be a demand from the consumer for the building contractors? Could they have to build new houses with offices in mind now? Will the, will the demand 
leave us that way? Will there be a reduction in the spare bedroom, should we say, and turned into a more effective designated office? Also, the building, where? Where will it be built? Could this result in the location of new builds being moved? If people not needing to be into the office five days a week, do they need to live as close to towns and cities as they currently do? Could they live further away? Will all that drive house prices up in different areas of the country? There's many, many permutations that we can see off the back of this, but time will tell. So, that just leaving to thank you for tuning in, and I hope you've enjoyed this webinar. As you can see there, for more information, please don't hesitate to visit our website or drop us an email. Thank you very much.